And then down here on the end, I have some angel hair spaghetti squash, uh, which I really wanted to try this year. And, uh, I planted them here at the end of this bed. And I do have a cage over it just in case some birds or something try to dig it up. And I am going to put some on the other squash in the other bed as well just to keep uh, squirrels from digging in there. They tend to get in here and dig out the plants sometimes. Um, but uh, I'm just going to let them sprawl wherever they want. And then over here, these are the angel hair squash that I planted. They're coming along nicely. And I'm going to let these run wherever they want and see how well they do. As you can see, they've pretty much taken over the area. Some of the vines are actually growing up my rose trellis here. And I do have an abundance of the spaghetti squash growing on here. There's quite a few green ones in here. There's one there, another one there, one down there at that end. That's three there. And I have quite a few of them in here that are hidden. That one's turned a little yellow, but it's a little too small, I think. Uh, the angel hair spaghetti squash gets to about one and a half to two pounds uh, per squash. So they do get to a decent size. They're more of a personal sized spaghetti squash. Let's move on around this way. I may have to trim some of these vines up. But you see here's a Here's a larger one, and it's starting to change color. They are ready to pick when they start to turn yellow, and they are some of these are starting to turn a little yellow. And let's look inside here. You can see some of these are about ready to pick, so I'll be picking these very soon. So, angel hair spaghetti squash doing great. This is the angel hair squash bed, and as you can see, there's not many squash in there right now because I've already picked uh, about 20 of them off these plants and I'll show you uh, where they are uh, when I'm done this video uh, I actually picked about 20 but I was only able to save about 15 or 16 of them because the squash borers did hit the angel hair spaghetti squash and it actually hit a couple of the fruits or a couple of the squash on on the vines as well. So they were boring into the actual squash theirself. But I uh, still did get at least, uh, I believe about 16. Here are the angel hair spaghetti squash that are placed on the back porch. I counted them, there's about 16 of them there. And all of them are turning a nice yellow color. That's the way they're supposed to look. They start out green and then they change to yellow. Uh, right after you pick them, you do have to Set them in a sunny spot and let them um, ripen for about two weeks until they get nice and hard. And then they will last about two months after you pick them. So they have a long shelf life.